so as you know I have read all of Agatha Christie's Poirot books, all the short stories, all the full length novels, so now I have the lovely joy of rereading them. I decided that I wanted to reread one of my favourites, which is Mrs McGinty's Dead, and I thought I would review it for you. As always, if you enjoy the review and you want to get your hands on a copy, I will leave a link for it down in the description bar below so you can go and get your hands on it. So Mrs McGinty's Dead was published in 1945 and we start with Poirot, he's just finished um, a lovely meal and he's a bit bored, he doesn't want to go home straight away, he just has a slow walk back to his flat. When he gets there, his manservant George, who's a little bit snobbish, um, says there's a gentleman um, to see you sir and that gentleman turns out to be Superintendent Spence and he talks with Poirot about the murder of Mrs McGinty. Now, Mrs McGinty was coshed over the back of the head and she was killed brutally and Superintendent Spence arrested and um, it, it went to trial uh, uh, of James Bentley who was her lodger. At the trial he was found guilty and convicted of the murder and he is now sentenced to be hung in a matter of three weeks. And Superintendent Spence comes to Poirot and he says there's something in the pit of my stomach which says to me he didn't do it. So can you please, as a favour to an old friend, go and search it for yourself. I don't want to hang an innocent man. And pa Poirot's like, yep, sure. So he goes to um, Broadhinney, which is near Kilchester, and he goes to uh, find out who killed Mrs McGinty, if it was James Bentley or if it was someone else. And along the way, he hooks up with an old friend, Aragne Oliver, who is amazing and funny and together they work out the crime. So I've read this book, I think it was the third time that I read it and I love it. Every time I read it it always gives five out of five stars for me and I wanted to discuss why. So the first bit of that this book that I love is the beginning. Um, I, I just want to read you this little quote because I think it's I think it's fantastic. Um, I feel like Agatha Christie to be honest in my eyes she could write about anything. She could write um, a puddle of mud and I, I'd still be entertained so I just wanted to read you this little bit because I feel like it, it kind of shows us more about Poirot as well I really enjoy it so alas murmured Poirot to his moustaches that one can only eat three times a day for afternoon tea was a meal to which he had never become acclimatised if one partakes of the five o'clock one does not he explained approach the dinner with a proper quality of gastric juices and the dinner, let us remember, is the supreme meal of the day. I think that's very funny and very witty. And I, I think that's what this book is. It's kind of, you know, Agatha Christie is known for her humour in her books. And this one really does reflect quite well. Another quote that I wanted to read you as well, which I think is very funny um, and very witty. But also, um, this is slightly later on in the book where it gets a little bit darker. Um, uh, so basically what's happening is the kind of the case is, is hitting kind of plateaued a bit um, and they're a little bit worried about what's going on and things and they're worrying about the progression of the case. And this is what we get. From a call box in the station at Board Hinney, Poirot rang up Superintendent Spence. Is it you, mon ami? Attend, I pray, I have news for you. Splendid news. Somebody has tried to kill me. I think that's very funny and very witty and I think it shows Agatha Christie. Uh, her, her skill is a, is magnificent, um, you know, very form and funny and witty, yet it's about humour. Um, murder, sorry. Um, something else that I really like about this book is the fact that two thirds of this book is very funny, very witty. And then the latter third, it goes very dark, very quickly. And the reveal is amazing. It's such a good reveal um, because it goes so dark and it's seeping and like you end up feeling such anger well I did anyway I felt such anger towards the murderer and um, there's something that they say and I'm just like oh really like rattles my cage it's brilliant I really get under the skin of this one I thoroughly enjoyed it I think it is splendidly really written as all of them are the pacing is, is superb I really enjoy it and that is why it is one of my favorites so I hope you enjoyed my little review of Mrs McGinty's Dead by Agatha Christie. As I said, if you want to go get your hands on a copy of this book, a link will be down in the description bar below.
If you are new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button, it would mean the world to me. If you want more videos on Agatha Christie books, history and vintage, please click subscribe and you won't miss any at all. I want to know in the comments section down below if you've read Miss McGinty's Dead and if you loved it as much as I did, or if you haven't read it, do you now plan to pick it up in the future? So take care everybody and I shall see you soon for the next video. Bye!